nice. This is great to be here. I've been, uh, I've been thinking about cutting my hair so people stop asking me if I work at Guitar Center. <laughs> time for a haircut, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, I think it is time for a haircut because somebody came up to me recently and was like, you look like every member of Hanson. Somehow, I don't know. That was my mom, my mom told me that. Roasted my ass. Oh, uh, before I get going, are you busy right now? Would you mind doing me a favor? That would really help you. You got your phone on you? Yeah. Dude, could you take a picture of me so my girlfriend doesn't think I'm out cheating? <laughs> I'm serious, you gotta have receipts. Yeah, just let me know when you got it. I'm Benicio Del Ryan on Instagram. You did the shot? All right, I appreciate it. What's your name? Joe. Joe, give it up for Joe. Uh, thank you, that really helps me out. And if anybody wants to cheat afterwards, I got an alibi now, so. Yeah. Uh, you guys this hairstyle is appropriate for how I currently make a living. I, uh, I'm back on unemployment. Thank you, my people, yeah. I appreciate that. In case any of you do work for the state, I am actively seeking employment. Fuck no, dude. No, I like being on unemployment, man, it's fun. I think it's cool they say, like, you're collecting unemployment. I'm like, that's a cool way of looking at it, man. You know? Now when my friends ask what I do for a living, I'm like, I'm a collector. They're like, what the fuck do you collect? I'm a percentage of your taxes every two weeks. Thank you for working. That money's gotta come from someplace. I appreciate it. I'm curious, just by round of applause, how many people have been on unemployment before? Oh yeah. Bunch of government sugar babies. Yeah, meet me afterwards. We gotta unionize, I think. <laughs> Strength in numbers. Man, I'm trying to think of what my last job even was. I've been enjoying these paid vacation for so long. Oh, you know what it was? I was a, I was an extra on a Hallmark movie. The actress on this movie was Sherry O'Terry. Anybody remember Sherry O'Terry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if you don't, Sherry O'Terry was on Saturday Night Live in the 90s. I'm a big SNL nerd, and I just wanted my picture taken with her. So I decided to wait until the after party, and who comes walking by? None other than Sherry O'Terry. Like, oh shit, here's my chance. So I introduced myself, I said, hey, I'm Ryan Bennett. Uh, I'm a big fan, it was cool working with you. You mind if I get a picture? And she says, yes, but under one condition. I only take pictures with people who can make me laugh. Like, this bitch hasn't been relevant for 30 years. She should just be happy that I want to get a picture with her. Anyways, a joke comes to mind, thankfully. And for this joke, you're going to need a little context. When I was in the second grade, I heard the following. If your Uncle Jack was stuck on a roof, would you help him off? Yes or no? You would? You would help your Uncle Jack off? What a weirdo! Ready to say, right? I had no idea what it meant. I just knew it was kind of edgy. Being that I heard that joke when I was in second grade, as an adult man, I assume everybody must know this joke. So I do an updated version with a little twist, and this is what I told Sherry O'Terry. <clears throat> if your Uncle Jack was stuck on a roof, would you fist his asshole? <laughs> It's a good joke, if you know the original! <laughs> if you don't know the original joke, I'm just a creep asking if you're gonna fist your uncle and uh, Sherry O'Terry didn't know the original joke. I did not get my picture and I was asked to leave the party after that. <laughs> I'm Ryan Bennett, thanks for listening to me, I appreciate you.